My name is Philip Charlack, and I'm your next Democratic Senator for the 26th District in Connecticut, Senatorial District. There's a new kid on the block in the game of politics, and he's looking to unseat your current state senator, Republican Tony Boucher. I care. I really care. I have no political ambitions beyond becoming your senator. My real concern is I've gotten involved in understanding the issues. Tonight, the Democratic candidate hosting a meet and greet at one of Westport's newest restaurants called Tierra. It's the first meet and greet of his campaign and already he's getting strong support from fellow party members. I think that we all have certain impressions or expectations about what legislating is like in Hartford. Most of us are some ways surprised by the reality. The need for compromise, the need to be able to work across the aisle, the uh, need to master the process and that takes some time. I think Phil's got the stuff to make that work. But that doesn't mean it's an easy road ahead. The 26th district is one of the larger governing areas, including Bethel, New Canaan, Reading, Ridgefield, Weston, Westport, and Wilton. The challenge for Phil is he rep the, the, the district that he would be representing covers a lot of towns. That's a lot of ground, a lot of real estate. And there's not exactly uh, unanimity of opinion. And while the population in those areas is somewhat politically diverse, Charlac telling me the environment on Connecticut's capital is much different. With the state government leaning to the left on most issues, Charlock says a Democratic voice can make a bigger impact. Actually, the last 30 years, the state has been held by a Republican. So we've got three decades where Fairfield County, they've had no voice in the legislative process. We have no voice in the taxation process. The election for the 26th district will be on November 4th. And if you're interested in learning more about this candidate, you can go to www.sharlockforsenate.com. Reporting for its relevant news, I'm Diana Blass.